Hey everyone, I want to spend a bit of time talking about how I practice making myself comfortable with the flugelhorn and all the other accessory instruments, especially in terms of familiar with how different they sound and not allowing that to impact the way that I play the instrument. I think this is a problem a lot of players find themselves with is that they are used to playing a B flat trumpet or a C trumpet a lot of the time. And then when they go to this accessory instrument that isn't used all that much, it feels very foreign and it winds up impacting the trumpet playing in a negative way. It impacts your delivery. So I'm gonna um, demonstrate some ways that I like to connect the way that I play them. Firstly, I think it's very important to take the feeling of how you play the big trumpets to all of the instruments. And that's not to say that they are all played exactly the same, but I do believe that it is important that you take the, the compactness that you play with on your main instrument across your instruments and not allow the instrument to push your playing around. What do I mean by that? If you play the flugelhorn, the sound is so different than the trumpet. One problem trumpet players have is that they tend to want to force the flugelhorn to sound like a trumpet. Conversely, if you spend a lot of time playing the flugelhorn, you can have trouble with the flugelhorn's sound impacting how you play the trumpet in a negative way. Going between the two can be really challenging, especially for classical players who don't do that a lot. So what I like to do is take the trumpet feeling to the flugelhorn, but not make the flugelhorn sound like a trumpet. So here's some ways that I do this. First of all, we're gonna get a drone. I like to use the Richard Schwartz tuning CD. And I'm gonna do some simple intervallic motions. And I'm gonna move quickly between the two. Okay, so all that is, is just a simple, a simple scalar exercise with intervals in there. And I'm trying to take the feeling of the big trumpet to the flugelhorn, the same sense of compactness, the same sense of tone center and pitch center. I want the trumpet to immediately have the same feeling of response as the flugelhorn. They're not gonna sound the same, but if you focus on the way it feels to play it, it can be very effective. Another great way to do this is to simply hold both instruments and go back and forth. a lip bend. Now, So just focusing entirely on keeping the feeling the same. They're going to sound different, but at first, if you keep all of your focus on making the, the feeling of, of the simplicity of moving between notes the, the same between the instruments, you'll develop more of a familiarity with the different sound. Something that's also very important when you're playing with these drones is to find where your pitch center on your horn is. One problem a lot of players have because the flugelhorn is so different in sound is that they wind up playing in a very wrong pitch center because they're trying, their ear is trying to make the, the flugelhorn sound trumpet-like. They, the flugelhorn has a huge slot, so you can impact that with your tuning position. For instance, this is where my tuning position is, but I can play with the tuning position very far in and make the sound very poor, but in tune. But if I try and take that to the big trumpet, you'll hear it's really out of whack. 
That's blowing in the same way. So if I experiment with the tuning slide on the flugelhorn, I can get it closer. Ah, it's still a little sharp. too far though you can hear that too so it's a little too far it's a little flat now so now how do we how do we practice being able to stay comfortable on a bigger instrument as I said earlier, I think many ish, many players, and certainly I have had this problem in the past, many players are impacted by playing this instrument for a while, and it can make your trumpet playing feel worse. So I think it's important to just do some simple, simple melodic material, and again, go between the two. So since, uh, since we're in B-flat, we'll just keep doing that. So for instance, a simple melody. A different melody. All the while trying to keep the feeling the same. So that's taking the two instruments with the, with the drone running and just trying to make them feel as similar as possible. Don't pay too much attention to how different the flugelhorn sounds. One of the other issues is that the flugelhorn, because the, the harmonic spectrum that it presents is so different, I think a lot of players wind up playing it sharp in the upper register. So if we take, if we take a tuner and put that on, and move between the two instruments. I'm not sure if this is going to be visible, but if you take a tuner, it's quite in tune. To my ear, it sounds flat because I'm, I'm used to the response of the upper harmonics. while just focusing on keeping the sound or keeping the feeling very similar between the two instruments and over time doing exercises like this the ear becomes more comfortable with just how different the instruments sound and you can develop the ability to maintain a consistency of production when we when we produce a sound on on all of the different instruments 
it's possible to produce um, varying types of sounds without doing a lot different here. You know, this is why we have different mouthpieces, we have different instruments, and one of the issues many players run into is allowing the instrument to impact how you play it too much. You, you have to take time to develop the feeling of consistency between your instruments, and then you can allow the instrument to be the, to, to create the sound that it needs to create without it impacting the way that you play it so much. That way, when you move between a B-flat trumpet and a flugelhorn and then a piccolo trumpet, you have the ability to maintain consistency of delivery and production on your instruments. Another great way to practice this, especially with flugelhorn and cornets, is, is moving between the big trumpet and the flugelhorn, or your alternative instrument, and doing lip trills. I think this is a very effective way to train consistency. Um, won't do this with a uh, drone right now. Focusing on the consistency of the feeling of production. It was impacted a little bit by the flugelhorn, so I slowed it down. So you can hear by sort of exploring this territory, I'm, I'm finding places where I'm, I'm changing something. And this is exactly the territory to spend time in. You figure out where, where your trumpet playing is being impacted by your, your flugelhorn. And you figure out how to take the consistency that you have on trumpet to the flugelhorn or to the cornet or to the F trumpet. And as you do this, you'll learn how to trust that the sound of the instrument is different and then slowly expand this into more and more complicated things. And you'll get to a point where you can feel comfortable moving between the two instruments in, in various ways. So I hope this is helpful to somebody. This is my approach to dealing with these, with these challenges that I think we all, we all wind up facing at some point. How do you pick up a, a different instrument and feel comfortable on it? And my answer is to try to play them about the same. Make sure that your, your, your production and the way that you are approaching your buzz and your delivery of the buzz into the instrument is pretty much the same. Uh, I guess one last, one last thing that I would say about that with the buzz is it is also pretty val valuable to spend a bit of time moving between the two mouthpieces independently, I think. Trumpet mouthpiece. That's another good way. You're really just very quickly moving from one mouthpiece to the other and trying to keep the, the setup the same. And the, even the mouthpieces make a dramatically different sound. And that can be a good transition into the other instruments. So these are just some thoughts. I hope this is, uh, this is helpful to somebody, and I'll see you all in the next video.